SpaceX operates the Starlink Satellite Internet Network, which provides satellite internet connectivity to the majority of the Earth. In mid-2021, the constellation consisted of approximately 1,600 satellites, with many thousands of mass-produced tiny satellites in low Earth orbit, LEO, communicating with authorized ground transceivers. While satellite internet service technically reaches the majority of the world's population, real service can only be supplied in nations that have allowed SpaceX to provide service inside any specific national territory. The Starlink research, development, manufacturing, and orbit control teams are housed in SpaceX's Satellite Development Center in Redmond, Washington. SpaceX predicted in May 2018 that the cost of the decade-long effort to design, develop, and deploy the constellation would be at least $10 billion. In 2014, product development began. In February 2018, two prototype test flight satellites were launched. In May 2019, further test satellites and 60 operational satellites were launched. SpaceX launches up to 60 satellites at a time with the goal of deploying 1,584 of the 260 kilogram spacecraft by late 2021 or 2022 to offer near global coverage. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We'd also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Elon Musk's SpaceX has revealed plans to deploy its new Starlink satellite internet service in Africa later this year, with Nigeria being the first country to receive it. According to Mr. Ryan Goodnight, SpaceX's Starlink Market Access Director for Africa, the company is working to obtain all necessary licenses to bring Starlink satellite internet services to Nigeria, and a meeting with Nigeria Communications Commission Executive Vice Chairman Professor Yumer Danbata is planned for later this month. According to the business, plans to deploy the Starlink satellite internet service in South Africa in 2022 are also in the works. Last month, South Africa's independent communication regulator announced that it is in talks with SpaceX about Starlink acquiring an individual electronics communication service license in the country. Although the technology is not expected to be available in the nation until next year, South African residents may already pre-order the Starlink internet service through the company's official website. Starlink is a SpaceX internet service that aims to enhance internet access in rural and underserved places across the world. Starlink satellites are nearly 60 times closer to Earth than regular satellites, resulting in decreased latency and the capacity to offer applications that traditional satellite internet cannot. In 2015, SpaceX began construction on the Starlink Satellite Broadband Network. The first prototypes were launched into Earth orbit in 2018, followed by the deployment of 60 operational satellites the following year. As of mid-April 2021, SpaceX claims to have launched over 1,400 tiny satellites at a height of 550 kilometers. Africa, with 1.2 billion people, is the world's youngest continent, with the greatest urbanization rate and six of the ten fastest rising economies. However, the continent is now lagging behind the rest of the globe in terms of high-speed internet infrastructure, with the World Bank estimating just 22% of the continent's population having access to consistent high-speed connections. Many analysts believe SpaceX Starlink satellite technology has the potential to be transformational in bringing high-quality internet directly to African consumers, particularly in distant and rural areas.
SpaceX stated in an official statement that it has been in discussions with the Nigeria Communications Commission for the past few months to begin the process of obtaining all required permits to deliver Starlink's satellite-based internet services to Nigeria. After making significant headway in the conversation, the Commission authorized SpaceX's request for a face-to-face -face meeting to obtain a better understanding of the prospects. The current beta phase of the Starlink Internet service, which allows for intermittent internet access during network testing, is presently being rolled out in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Germany, Poland, New Zealand, and Australia. According to Starlink, with just around 1,300 satellites launched, customers may expect internet rates ranging from 50 to 150 megabits per second, as well as latency ranging from 20 to 40 milliseconds. Elon Musk, the creator of SpaceX, the parent company of Starlink, stated in an interview that the speed would increase to 300 megabits per second later this year, and latency will drop to 20 milliseconds. He went on to say that Starlink aims to reach the majority of the planet's population by the end of 2021, and 100% coverage by 2022. Following that, it would be a matter of increasing coverage density. This contribution assures that they will have first preference in their location for acquiring the Starlink kit when it becomes available. This Starlink package contains a Wi-Fi router, power supply, cables, and a tripod for mounting. The cost of this equipment varies depending on where you live. This kit is expected to cost $499 in the United States and about $700 in the United Kingdom. The pricing for the African area, particularly clients in Nigeria and South Africa, where services will be offered soon, has yet to be announced. Consumers are anticipated to pay a monthly charge in addition to the Starlink kit, which is now $99 for U.S. customers. Although the Starlink technology is being welcomed and seen as a great boost for internet access across the African continent, some critics are questioning its pricing, which they claim is too expensive for Africans, and are calling for regional price adjustments to be more widely available on the continent. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notifications.